What is up guys, AshBFC here, and welcome back to A Link to the Past. So I'm going to start making my way to the next dungeon, which is all the way up there. I really don't want me getting hit on the way to this dungeon, because I'm going to need all my health and all my fairies, because it's, it's a freaking tough dungeon with a tough boss fight, so... Right, now that I've got the, uh, the hook shot, hook on over here like that, isn't it? Some enemies you can use the hookshot as a weapon, those guys, I guess not. Right, also with a hookshot as well, uh, I can get that piece of haw which we've seen previously, which is up on the ledge, um, near Death Mountain, right, I'm not going that way, those things will swarm me, that'd be a bad idea. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. God damn it! Little piece of shit that thing is. Look at my health already. God damn this dark world. You can show up at all you stupid whatever you are. Oh, that beetle, innit? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hookshot stuns him. So, I have some of that. I guess it's kind of like the same effect as the boomerang. Yeah, so yeah, you need the hook shot, so you can hook on over here. Is there any hearts? Yes, there is. Just the one. Not good enough. Don't want any more freaking rupees. We're also going to need the um, the magic cape, so I can uh, get past this thing without bouncing off it. There we go. And boom, another piece of hearts. Alright, to the you little... Oh. So annoying! Oh, my, look, uh, are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me right now? Wow. Oh, my God. God damn it. Right, I can't, I need health. I need health. This is not good. This is not good enough. Please, someone. Where's the nearest, um... Oh god, piss off. Where's the nearest fairy fountain? Oh god, damn it. Oh really? Really? Can't think where God damn it. So I don't have to use a fairy, because I need to save the fairy. For the boss fight, which is not going to be a disaster. Although, then again, I'll get any more disaster than all these freaking things going right now. Who are you? You stupid little thing. Actually, he's important. We'll deal with that later. That'll be it for another video. Go away, ghost. I'm in the mood for your shenanigans. Hey! You got on the way, I'd expect you run away. Fairy! Fairy in the grass, wow. Uh, it's not often you get fairy in the grass. So, okay. We're good to go. Right, to the dungeon! To the stinking dungeon! Ah! Ah! Oh, not that way. Can't get that way. Where's, where's the entrance I want? Is it over here or is it the other way? 
Oh, I can get up here, can't I? Link. Oh, two pieces of heart. Yeah, here we go. So this is Scourds. This one. Here, eat that bush. <laughs> Alright, now this is an unusual dungeon. It's got like a whole bunch of entrances to it, and you don't actually need to go to most of it, so... I don't want to spend any more time in this dungeon than I have to, so... Yeah. Just gonna... Just gonna try and get through it, so... There's these entrances through the mouths. If you've once sped around, uh, but we can also get in through this little hole here. Right, what we got to watch out for is the uh, Wall Masters, who've been in Zelda games since the very first one. It was the original Legend of Zelda where it used to throw like multiple Wall Masters at you. They used to come like sideways out the walls. Now they come from above, and when they come down and grab you, if they grab you, they'll take you back to the entrance. And it's very annoying. Especially when you're trying to deal with other enemies as well. The skeleton in the wall. It's very dark. Very grim. Alright, this is a bombable wall here. So let's bomb the hell out of it, because why not? Yeah, that's right. Uh, actually, I didn't need to come here yet, did I? I didn't, yeah, I didn't need to come here. What's in this chest? Okay, there's a map. I've completely forgot where the um, the compass is, but who gives a who gives a crap? Huh? It's not like I ever use the map or the compass. Open the next Zelda game, they'll kind of make the map, you know, better and more useful. This will have a real purpose. I'll just get rid of the compass altogether. Who needs it? Anyway, there is the chest. There is the chest. There is also a locked door. Nothing we can do. We ain't got no keys. This is another one of the entrances. Or actually, you know what? I want to go. I want to go up here. Under the bones. And into this entrance here. I think. It really confuses me. I'm very good at getting lost in this one. Oh, this is annoying room, and these are a new enemy. Gib doors. Really annoying. They have got a lot of health. And I've got to watch out for a wall master that is in this room. And they, yeah, of course, they do massive damage. The uh, Bamos medallion can prove very, very useful at times like these. These guys just take forever to hit. I don't think arrows work on them either. But again, I've got to make sure I don't stay in the same place, otherwise Wallmaster's going to grab me. I'll tell you what, the Wallmasters freaked me the hell out in Ocarina of Time. They were mega creepy. Hey! You can kill them, but they'll just come back. They're never ending. Right, I need to push this up here, because... It's one of these switches that does not stay pressed. So I need to pull this statue, obviously not push it, otherwise I can't get past. I need to make sure that the, you know, I don't get trapped up there, so the wall master. Alright, let's go. Okay, yeah. Again, there's another wall master in here, so we're gonna go ahead, use this medallion, clear these guys out, otherwise I will end up dying. There we go. Kills everything instantly. Very useful. Alright. Boom! Big key. There we go. Alright, oh, another bumble wall there. Which leads me to... Oh, how helpful. Could give me a heart or a fairy, you know, give me a big jar of freaking magic when I don't need any. Okay, let's run. Should we go this way? 
No, not that way. I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna go get. We're gonna open the big chest. So let's go back. Drop on down here. And. Yeah, okay, now it looks like you can't get across here. I do remember this really confused me back in the day. Being like, how do I get across? And uh, it's not very obvious, but you can actually just stick to the wall and sneak around like that, you see. Huh? Trick you on that. Right, now we'll pull this. It's gonna blow the crap out of this wall down here. Oh god. Maldorms, mini Maldorms. I don't think we've got a wall master in here, I don't think. But here is the chest. Which gives us the fire rod, which shoots fire. The opposite of the ice rod. And it's very good, because it can kill Gibdos in one. So, yes. I like the fire rod. Alright, now I need to start hunting down a small key. Okay, this is where I'm lost now, because... Um, let me just think about this. Let me just think about this. Right, I think we're going back... Yeah, back this way, I think. Hey! Right, yeah, we'll go through this door. Isn't this supposed to be... There we go, small key. Right, there is a door there, and I'm gonna bother with that door. Forget that door, we don't, we don't, nah, we don't need it. I'm gonna go this way. Because now I've got the fire rod. We go up here, we see this weird looking thing. Use a fire rod on it. And there you go. Open up a new entrance. And in we go. Right. There is a key in that chest down there. But I don't need it. What you have to do is you have to go under here and uh, you might think, oh I can just cut across there. No, there's a little wall under there. You've got to make your way all the way up. Go all the way around to another room where there's like two gib doors and I think some blade traps going around. And well, what's the point? If I don't need that key, then let's just keep going. Right, there is a wall master in here. There he is. Just gonna keep stepping on these stars. Turn it way across. Uh, I think this one. That one. And yeah, I think if I step in that bottom one now, it'll create a hole underneath me. Here we go, let's put the fire rod direction. Ah! Definitely helps when you've uh, got the, uh, the uh, thing to make you use less magic. Yeah, I'll burn you as well, Mr. Wallmaster. Alright, we've got to light these lamps. There we go. And it will open the door. And I also burned the wall master on his way down. Alright, screw this. Let's do it again. <laughs> it's just the freaking Gibdos, man, and these Moldorms. I think he's also a wall master. But you see that little circle of stars then that just got destroyed as well? That'll chase you around. If it hits you, it turns you into a rabbit. You know, how you would do when you first go to the Dark World without the, uh, the Moon Pearl. Yeah, you'll be temporarily a rabbit, and you can't do anything as a rabbit, so you're kind of screwed. But here we go, whack that down, we've got a secret door. More... Ah! Uh. That's actually what I want there, I want magic. I want to fill that meter back up. Come here, you! Chop, chop! Chop, nothing. Alright, through here. Alright, I think this is going to drop me down to the boss. Friggin' sucks. Yeah, here we go. 
I think this is, uh, is this moth, mothula, I think? It's a friggin' moth anyway. It's gonna shoot these things at you, you got blade traps coming, the floor's moving. I think eight hits with the fire rod. A few more with a sword. Fairy! Fairy! Where are my fairies? Well, I was going to use one anyway, but whatever. I just prefer it if I didn't have to end up face planting first. It's getting very annoying seeing that. It makes me feel like an idiot. Don't tell me it's health reset. Oh my god. That boss is just evil. I mean, look at the state of it. Alright, third maiden. Yeah, I've had real, real trouble with that boss in the past. I don't think I can even do that without a fairy. Because it just, it's crazy! Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets a Triforce, a hero is destined to appear, and he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule who protected the royalty of Hylia can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? then you must rescue Zelda without fail. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Alright. Well, thank god that friggin' uh, dungeon's over. I do not like that one. Because of the damn Gibdos and that friggin' boss. Get me out of these woods! I hate it here. I hate it. Uh oh. I think I took a wrong turn. How do I get out of here? There we go. I'm going to have to go back through, aren't I? Actually, I guess I could... Turn it to the light world, that'll make life easier. And then I'm not taking as much damage off enemies as well. Fairy! Oh, I should have caught her in um in a bottle. So I've only got one left now, haven't Alright, well, I think that's going to do it um, this episode right here. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.